Okay, everyone, how's it going? This is Rex for here, and welcome back to another gaming tutorial. Today, we're going to be learning how to create some retro sprites. Okay, so that really failed. Um, but anyway, guys, how's it going? This is Rex for here. We are back yet again with another gaming tutorial. And this tutorial, as I failed at saying earlier, um, is going to be on retro sprite outlines. So, what the heck is a retro sprite outline, and what does it look like? So. Before you guys actually watch this video and do all this stuff, just to find at the end that this is nothing that you'll ever be wanting to do and that you're not even interested in, let me go ahead and just show you guys what we're going to be doing before I even start. So, as you can see, I have this room here filled with just this little object, which is made from a single colored sprite, uh, which is a 32 by 32 square. As you can see, the opacity hasn't been tampered with, and I... Uh, kind of uh, test this, or uh, I guess uh, whatever you want to call it, use the little eyedropper on it. And when we run our game here, instead of just having this dull little room here with all this uh, just plain green squares, and run the game here. Whoa, look at that. We now have awesome retro outlines on the ends of all of our different squares. And it goes kind of perfectly with these squares as well, kind of the uh, outline follow thing. And um, you'll see kind of what this does in a little bit. But basically, this is what I'm going to be showing you guys how to do today, and uh, kind of add these outlines onto any objects that you want. Um, but I'm going to be using squares as the example. Um, but yeah, this is a really cool thing to do. I actually stumbled upon it a couple days ago, or rather a couple weeks ago, um, a couple days ago, and uh, I thought that I would just show you guys because one, it's simple to do, and two, it doesn't take up a lot of time, which is really good for me because, as you guys may or may not know, game mix tutorials usually take a uh, considerable amount of time to do. So. I really don't really have the uh, time to do that for now, but since it's so simple, uh, I thought I'd go ahead and show you guys anyway today. Alright, so what we're going to go and do is you go into your, um, <clears throat> um, if you're not in Game Maker already, uh, go ahead and open it up and go into your little sprite here. And, um, well, I guess you haven't really created a sprite yet, but so go ahead and I guess create a sprite. Jeez, I am just, uh, I don't know. But anyway, go ahead and create a sprite. And uh, thir make it a 32 by 32 sprite, and just make a simple, uh, actually don't even make a square. Just go ahead and get the paintbrush tool here, pick a color, doesn't matter what it is, uh, whether it's green, red, I'm just going to go ahead and keep it this little nice shade of green here. Alright, and once you're done with that, go ahead and uh, don't outline it yet, just make sure it is a solid color. Now go ahead and create an object of your sprite in which you just created. And you don't have to name it obj underscore ground, that's just kind of what I named it beforehand. <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Um, you can name it whatever the heck you want. Um, just make sure that it has the same sprite in which you just created, that little blank, or not really blank, but that single colored uh, square. Alright, now what you want to go ahead and do is go add event and draw. Go to your control tab, click and drag over a, an execute code action. And simply copy and paste this code from the description box underneath this video. Alright, and what this is doing is it's calling on a script, particularly this script over here, which we'll get into in just a minute, and it's kind of defining what we're going to be uh, doing for this script. This is the kind of the color of the outline in which the script is going to be creating. Alright, <clears throat> now what you want to go ahead and do is uh, up here on this little uh, bar here, uh, this little options bar, buttons bar, you want to go ahead and click on the create script button. And in the script, you want to go ahead and name it scr underscore ground. And just go ahead and again, go into the description box of this video and copy that code, all of that numerous code, or uh, lines of code, and paste it all in here. And this stuff is pretty self-explanatory, although it might look a bit uh, intimidating at first. It is pretty, once you get into it, pretty easy to understand, so uh, don't worry about uh, that stuff. Uh, being too complicated. Um, you guys can edit this to your specifications, but for now I would just advise keeping it how it is and uh, kind of working on it later. Um, so what you want to make sure you do is right here, 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 and here. You type in the name um, as well as here, um, or well just uh, not really here, um, but he all of here. You want to make sure you type in the name of your object over here from your blank square and in this little space right here you want to make sure you type in the name of your sprite for your blank square. Alright, and uh, go ahead and OK that. And what we're going to go ahead and do now is simply go into our room, or create a new room if you don't have one already. Go to the object which you just created and just place uh, these blocks wherever the heck you want to place them. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and place them in kind of a cool little pattern here. Little, uh, I guess, formation. Alright, and then go ahead and run your game. 
and there we go. You'll now see that all of your objects, or rather your one object, uh, or all of your one object in which you placed, has that cool little outline. The single squares have just an uh, all-around outline because they're not connected to anything, and all that various stuff. So this is really handy if you want a uh, kind of a retro sprite, or maybe even just an outlined um, kind of a ground object or whatever, and you don't want to go through the hassle of creating separate ground objects with different lines and all that different kind of stuff. So this is really cool to do, and I um, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I apologize that um, I wasn't able to create some sooner, but, you know, I've been pretty busy, so that's kind of that. Um, anyway, guys, uh, feel free to comment and rate on this video, as well as maybe subscribe to my channel for upcoming updates on future videos and all that cool different stuff. And until next video, guys, see everyone next time.